So, uh, you got any topics? Yeah. No, you got stuff you want to talk about. Yeah. Um, Like what? Why does an orange... Why is an orange named an orange, but a pickle is not named a green? It's like that, you know, what, what came first, the orange fruit or the color orange? Oh, that's true. Same thing with pears. Shout out to all the pears. Man, what is a fucking pear? It's like... It's a, it's a fruit. Yeah, but it's like a half apple, half something. It's not even like a full... Do you think, it's, do you think it is like a hybrid of a mango and a, and a no, apple? Maybe not, maybe not a mango. It's like a... The texture of it's not exactly, you know. Yeah, well, it's not exactly an apple either, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like the inside would be similar to a mango with yeah. a mixture of an apple, but the skin is very apple-y. I mean, but we are red on the inside. You know. Okay. No, I don't know. If you take the circumference of the sun. Then, oh yeah. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Then the you know, Draconians that run the office should sell more toilet paper. Alright, mm. we need to start. We need to start. Yeah. This is gold. Too much. We're, this is gold and we're <laughs> losing it. <laughs> Off to a good start. Meh. <laughs> My you got call. All... You're getting a call? Oh. No, I said that was my mating call. Oh. Well, consider yourself mated. <laughs> Big boy. Um, Dude, my, my salad earlier today really hurt my tummy. Tell you what. You gotta put some steak in it. It had chicken in it. Mmm. Mm, I don't. I, I don't want to. I don't want to like throw you off from Trader Joe's, but it was a Trader Joe's uh, salad. Of course it was. Did you <laughs> eat it with a very tiny s- s- fucking salad fork as well? I did actually. You, you like you sat down and you put your monocle on. <laughs> I didn't do that. No. And you like laugh like from your like stomach. <laughs> This salad is so good. Now you're just being rude. Sorry. Yeah, you should be. I'm not sorry. Um, Oh, okay. You you can do the intro. Uh, Do you want to sing a song or just fucking jump back, jump into Um, it? Um. Coming at at you you with the the marmoset. marmoset. Hopping Hopping from from the the treetop. Then Then I I found found my my old guitar guitar and threw threw it down down in the spaceship. spaceship. You know what I mean? mean? Something Something like that. that. Welcome back to the uh, Something Original (laughs) Podcast. My name is Garfunkel. And I'm Turtleberry Johnson. Two legends of this podcast come back united into one. How is Garfunkel, by the way? Um, well, I mean, he's still in cryogenic sleep, so he doesn't see much. Mm, that's good. That's good. Gotta keep him put away, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> he gets out, and the apocalypse is coming sooner than we all think. It's already happening, but I mean, yeah. Man. Garfunkel, no. Garfunkel with a flick of the wrist and ends the world. But if you give him a peanut butter sandwich, he'll, he'll be on our side. So, I mean, he'll put it oh, really? for like another thousand years or something like that. Well, so why don't we just, the second he wakes up from cryogenic sleep, we give him the peanut butter sandwich. Maybe because he could he's, help he's us. Fast. I mean, he's been asleep for months, you know? I mean, imagine if you woke up from like months of sleeping, you know? It was like he winter does, time. It, he doesn't even, you know, take a moment to wipe the crust out of his eye probably freak out like last time <laughs> you know the last time he, he got out world war Two happened well he was out he was on the podcast a couple of times number of times you you guys think that you know 
Pearl Harbor was bombed. No, it was Garfunkel. So Garfunkel is an enemy of the states? He's an enemy of the world. Okay. <laughs> he wanted to get all the superpowers involved into this war. Oh, and they blamed it on Japan. Gotcha. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They can't. Exp- they can't explain it that you know that much damage was done by one single entity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Makes and sense. Titty. Makes sense. And titty. Sorry. Titties. Titties. <laughs> Are you a boob guy or? A We've had this conversation. Butt guy. Too. But yeah, well, yeah. I mean, time times have changed, you know. Yeah, but still the same. Inflation. <laughs> on that ass. Wait, what? <laughs> Inflation on that ass. Asses be getting inflated, bro. There are like 14-year-olds getting BBLs. Mm. Mm. What is this? Where are it's they not, getting those? It's not okay. Your body is still developing. That's why I like... A lot of people suggest that you don't start, like, lifting heavy weights until you're at least 18 years old. Oh, I mean, we were fucking pumping. Yeah, but I wasn't trying to get max outs. I was just trying to look, get that washboard uh, body, you know? Bro, there there were people, I'm not going to say any names, but there were people in our high school, like, roiding up, just mm-hmm. trying to fucking pump. And they were getting, they, it was big, you know? Not, I mean, it, it was, mm. they were big. Oh, so yeah, sorry. Yeah. It does the opposite effect. I was asked if I wanted to do steroids. I was like, I'm, I'm good. That's, I don't get it. Like, I, because like, especially if you're doing it for like mental health reasons. Yeah. It just totally, that is, that doesn't help at all. They, they, anything? they literally told me like, oh yeah, some of the side effects are like, you might develop brain cancer in 10 years. And I was like, why the fuck would I subject myself to that? It's like, right. oh, it's in 10 years. Okay, <laughs> bro. I got dude. It's almost it's almost ten years. I'm almost at the ten year mark, or when I would have done it, if I would, yeah was stupid. Exactly. Like, why not live a little bit? You know. Yeah. Push, push at least sixty, then start doing. But it. Uh, I'll tell you what: the people asking me uh, to do steroids with them are also the same people that peak in high school. So, mm. they sh- they probably were. Was that shade being huh? thrown? Was that shade being that was thrown? Absolute shade being fr- thrown. Mm-hmm. Intriguing, <laughs> my dear Watson. Well, yeah. Did yeah. you know anybody that did it? Oh yeah. 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 I was actually just. I ran. I I was dark. I heard about somebody doing it over the weekend. Oh really? Yeah. Somebody from high school or somebody just uh, you know? Yeah. Well, that I knew from high school yeah. I'm like oh well I can see it um, I can see it <laughs> but yeah and it's like it's not even, I don't understand it because it's like you're getting like everyone pretty much knows like you mm. go in you go in, in within a month you're like weighing 50 pounds more than what you did yeah there's there's no way dude there's no way I don't care I, like how much you're eating like you're like oh man I've been eating nothing but Tuna rice and protein. You know? I've been yeah. putting it in my, you know. Asshole. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get protein up both ends. <laughs> no, don't work like that. Yeah. I just, like, yeah. Everyone I knows. I don't get it. It's not a secret. I don't care that much, you know? Mm. Don't care. Yeah, I do want to look beefier. That I tell you, dude, I'm making serious gains. With so like you did my take back and offer? stuff. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm um, just taking. I'm just taking a uh, ketamine. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, I'm sure that would get you in the right mindset. Go down a K hole. <laughs> some iron. <laughs> yeah. It's working wonders. This guy's been in this gym for literally five hours. He's <laughs> drooling. Yeah, I, I literally. <laughs> I I bit one of the the dumbbells like a cookie there's a big bite mark taken out of it he said ah, nah, nah. my body needs who more let, iron who let the dogs out am i right yeah gotta let the dogs out you know you gotta free the dogs um, anyways guys you can find us on apple podcast spotify and youtube <laughs> leave us a like leave us a comment subscribe if you are liking what you're hearing we also have the patreon five dollars a month 
only five dollars a month are you serious That's, bro yep absolutely five dollars a month uh we have death our friend on there first chapter available now we also have a new show next caller it's not very new now that we have like two episodes out you know but give that a listen it's fucking awesome um very intriguing guest but we also have that incentive here again i have a i have a i have a proposition for you oh a proposition so we we haven't gained any new patreon subscribers since we first made this well we we actually did we gained two since we first started doing this initiative Mm -hmm. for the pilk and dilk I'm saying let's give the people let's let's show them that we mean business. All right, we can make up another incentive for them to make do the Patreon. Or wait, how about this? So, oh wait, oh, oh you have a, a new you have a new one already thought up? No, no, I was saying we just do the pilk and dilk, like in the coming up episode, just do it without the incentive. But we come up with a new like incentive. I was saying three. What if we just what if we just went down to three? We get one. Uh, we we get one more. If one motherfucker, whoa, <laughs> subscribe. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm kind sorry. Human being. Too. A kind Jeez. human being who would love to uh, spend the five dollars. It's only five dollars to join the Patreon. You can do it for a month. We're just cheaper. listen to our content. Yeah, we're cheaper than Spotify, my guys. Cheaper than Netflix. God, they're raising prices. When was the last time your favorite artist dropped something? Guys, we do this weekly or bi-weekly at most. <laughs> we yeah, out we here. Did, we did miss last week. <laughs> I hear I hear songs coming out, and I'm like, they spent probably about five minutes on this. What yeah, is exactly. this? We put an hour, at, hour 20. Drake. Yeah, bro. Yeah, well, he handed it off to the, the producers. And, mm. you know... Mm-hmm. Yeah, the producers. That's really what he handed it off to. He said, I'm going to come in with a mid melody that sounds almost similar to a lot of my other melodies that I've done before. Mm-hmm. I'll say some new little, you know, swanky things. And you know what I'm going to do? We're going to put swanky. in a five minute, int- like five minute instrumental. My guy. And it still got top charge, which make I'm not he, going. I'm not gonna yeah, get into it. Yeah, he I'm got the, he sick. got the bag. He got the bag. He's racked I'm, out already, wrapped out. But now he's even more racked out. Oh, it's just the decline of music is just so sad. <laughs> Who do you think is gonna come in and say? I think it's gonna be. I seriously think it's gonna be like an unknown artist that's going to just change what music is. I think it's gonna be this Ganon cat when he decides to get it together. It's almost it's almost there. The prophecy is almost uh, coming to fruition, right? Yep, fruitition. Fruit by the foot, listen. Yeah, the coalition. Um, but yeah, dude, just uh, <laughs> uh no. I so don't are know. are you down? Wait. Do you want to just do one uh one more Patreon? If we get one Patreon subscriber, we do pilk and dilk on the pod. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll talk and poke it. So that would that would need to be a you know video podcast. Oh God, I look so bucky we'll, on this camera. I look so bucky. Well, you know, just get good lighting. I'm gonna get a ring light just for that episode. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm doing a makeup tutorial. Hi there, uh, sisters. I'm gonna. Chug some milk and dilk, some dilk at the same time. Um, and here mm. we go. I'm, I'm, uh, I think it's gonna be good, honestly. Yeah, I think the ratio has got to be there. I saw another one where it was a pickle, a pickle dipped in ranch covered in Cheeto dust. Wait, what? Wait, say that again. That's it. A- uh, a pickle, like a sliced dill pickle, mm-hmm. covered in ranch. Mm-hmm. Like they they dip it in the ranch and then they cover the ranch with the pickle in Cheeto dust. I'm th- trying to think if it'd be good. 
I mean, I think it would be. I think it would be good. Honestly, I like ranch. I, I like, like pickles. pickles. Uh, yeah, pickles are so good. Cheeto dust, I could probably get by with, you know. But I, I well, think the combo might be surprising. Well, I mean, like, dude, like the deep fried, bro. That's like one of my favorite like appetizers, bro. Some mm-hmm. like deep fried pickle bites, bro. And you get the ranch or the chipotle. Man, stop playing. You don't got the answer, Sway. <laughs> you know what I mean? I also saw, uh, what's his name? It's like a streamer who like gets this pickle pizza. It's like sliced pickles oh. on a cheese pizza. Yeah. People people were uh, being like, yo, what the, what the H? Mm. But they'll they'll try it and it's it's surprising a lot of people. See, I think that'd be good uh, because I'm a pineapple pizza guy, you know. I am so, a pineapple pizza guy as well, and I'm I'm sure it would be good. Yeah, right. You know what it is? You guys just you guys need to just open up a bit when it comes to pizza. You can put anything on it. Have you ever seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yeah. Or Scooby Doo. Absolutely. You can put whatever on a pizza, bro. And it just depends. Like, I saw one where they had, like, a, uh, like, some kind of, like, it was a pickle one. Like, what you're talking about. And then mm-hmm. they had some kind of, like, she, like, I might have looked at the same kind of thing. I think um, we were looking at the same thing, actually. Because there was a picture going around, and I was like, that should look. It do, it do be looking bussin', honestly. Yeah, dude. And you throw a little bit of, like, because I'm trying to think, like. I think I think pickles with like beef usually is good. I'm trying to think of like something to add with it, like meat. I feel like that I gotta have meat on it too, cause like if I have yeah. pineapple, maybe sausage. Gotta... That's what I was thinking, in a weird way, bro. Yeah, I'm not like, a big fan with sausage, but with the pickle combo. Are, do you like sausage on your pizza? Like going away from the pickle. Yeah, I mean I could die okay. on meat lovers, bro. I mean, I'll I'll down it too, but it's uh, I I could go without it. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, what's your like go-to pizza? Like go-to, if bro. You were, honestly, if you were picking Hawaiian, bro, I love Hawaiian pizza. Well, I mean, Hawaiian. Oh, let me yeah. put you on barbecue chicken Hawaiian oh. pizza. I just don't like barbecue on pizza that like, much that's right really? yeah i'm not a huge barbecue guy like i'd rather have like a um chicken bacon ranch pizza over barbecue i mean those are good too you know <laughs> i'll eat it if it's there bro but it's like if i if had you come choice, out if you, when you come out trey wants to come out adrian wants to come out when you guys all come out i'll make you guys a barbecue chicken pizza with other oh. pizzas, and we'll we'll see. We'll we'll devour some. some You're making pizzas. these. You make homemade pizza, bro. Uh, I can make me a barbecue chicken pizza. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I see you. Okay. That's the deal. <laughs> I'll try it. Uh, oh, but with my Hawaiian pizza, I like to add jalapenos. Uh... With your Hawaiian? Yes. Trust. No, I. You you uh ever been to a rapid fire pizza? You have for sure. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I went in there one time, you know, because it's just like a create your own pizza. They give you like a personal size pizza for people who haven't gone there. It's like Mod. I think Mod is like the bigger one. Yeah. But uh, I go in there, and I'm like, I get my usual thing, and they ask for my toppings. I'm like, can I get pineapple and jalapenos? Yeah. And they were like, jalapenos and uh, pineapple don't really mix together. Are you sure you want that? And I was like, I'm creating the pizza, yeah. man. Yes. Fuck off. What, what, Let what me do, do my thing. You think just because you work here, you're a pro? I've had more pizza than you've been alive, son. I've probably eaten more <laughs> rapid fire pizza than you, motherfucker. I, ca- I used to go in there seriously like every other day. Shit was busting. I mean, it's a good place, dude. I like this. I, I think Rapid Fire is bigger. Like, I've been to both. And I think Rapid Fire is bigger out west. Is that is this so? 
No, it it was made in Ohio. <laughs> I really don't see those anymore. I see those mod people. It was yeah, it was made in a uh, Kettering actually. The first one was opened in Kettering. Did Rob Deerdeck make it? I th- no, I don't think so. What a what a twist that would be. That would have been a twist. <laughs> Whatever happened to him? Is he still? A, is he, he still, still does still this. Uh, what's it? Oh yeah, what'd you say? Is he still a guy? Yeah, he does that show. What's that one where they they like? Oh, ridiculousness. <laughs> yeah, dude. He still pretty, makes those. I'm pretty sure, bro. I remember there. Were, is it still like all of MTV? Yeah, yeah. During the day. God, dude. Uh, yeah. That's so bad. That's what I'm saying, dude. And it just makes you think because he, this is just people doing crazy, crazy. Um, I would say idiotic things in some cases. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, some of those are just like someone trying to do a gnar trick on like a skateboard, and then they just mess up and then smash their face. Um, yeah. But like sometimes it's just like, what are you doing, bro? And there's so many of them, and you're like, is this the world? I yeah, you watch too many, especially watching it all day. I don't know who would subject themselves to that, but uh, if you are, we would love to have you on the podcast and just Navy. see your m- mental state stability. People in the Navy, definitely, because you have like when you're in port, you have like maybe like um, you got like maybe uh, four channels while you're on the ship, right? Yeah. Um, and <laughs> one of them is st- ridiculousness all day. And if you're on duty, you're stuck on the ship for 24 hours in port. And you know what you do? You turn on some ridiculousness. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> or Impractical Are you Jokers. Oh, uh, yeah. That I'm one's that, fine. I keep that show going. Both of those shows. You alone are keeping it alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, they're like, you know, like, uh, you know, who's mostly like helping us stay, stay running, right? And uh, they look and they just see the the old LHA six USS America. They're like, wow, this TV's been playing us all day. What's <laughs> we gotta keep it going for this guy? You know? And it's just me and you an think office just by myself. Looking- and you get like personal messages on the screen, like "thank you." <laughs> yeah, we want to do a shout out can. to our vets. <laughs> Man, Rob Dudek does a live show. They actually bring you on the show for being like their only, like watcher. I get a custom pair of DCs. Dude, ah, oh, I would actually wear he, those. Does he still like? Where DC Rob Deerdeck because he was always fitted out with like DC, like well, all of his, his brands, bro. I, yeah, I know, but it's like, the, do you think he still wears them? Um, I don't see anybody I think so. wearing DCs anymore. Well, that's it. Th- well, there was a tiny wave of like fashion where I like, I saw like, um. Like different rappers getting like chunky skater shoes, like we used to wear with like the, <laughs> the, the like skinny pants back in the day. Oh very, yeah, very unproportional fits. But yeah. now I see them with like baggy pants. I'm like that actually looks kind of cool. What what were we doing back then? And like I seen like ASAP Rocky for example. I seen him wearing like chunky etnies at one point. I'm like, bro, what? What's going on? I used you know? to I used to fuck with some etnies. I do, dude. To be I honest. I like them fallings, bro. Fallen's were cool too. Um, what were the what were the big like big big ones that were like Osiris's or something? Oh, dude, I had yeah, yeah, I had a pair that were all black and they had uh, dollar signs on them, or do- they had Benjamin like Benjamins all over them, and on the back <laughs> they said "Get Paid." Yeah, I I remember they had some of the like neon centric colors. Like, the colorways that they would put out and people would buy, I would just be like, bro. And you were telling me you had ones that had dollar bills on them. Right. Did you wear them ever? Oh, all the time. <laughs> I was very Rari XD, dude. Oh, <laughs> I was very Rari she's a, XD. She, she's a 10, but she says Rar. 12. Tw- really? In this day and age? Well, you got to think. 
the ones that would say that that are our age now. No, she's saying it unironically. Down. Probably tattoos. Probably, you know. And I kind of fuck with. I kind. I kind of like the you know the emo style. I think it's kind of it's flattering. I and guess yeah. If she if she's a ten, then yeah. At least she's not wearing hey dudes. You know, she's probably got some sense of style. You know, yeah. she's not just you know throwing on the Patagonia hat and calling it a day. That's yeah. I, I like some spice. You know. She's she, an eight, but she wears Cookie Monster pajama bottoms. <clears throat> Gotta draw the line somewhere. Um, <laughs> she's an eight. Doing this, she's an eight. So not a ten, but she's an eight. Was she like, you know, cut them off and like, uh, oh, un- unironically as well. Unironically, she wears them like six out of seven days. Like she actually wears them to like walk down the street and stuff. Uh, no. Uh, like she's making a trip three. to the gas station. She's wearing them. Mm. Three. Okay. Yeah. Damn. It's still a three. I would say like a one. Oh, the no. Cookie Monster ones, bro. I'm. I'm not. I'm not with it. And she's only an eight. No. She. I mean, she might be like you know. I don't know. <laughs> I think we okay. She might be okay. Yeah. She yeah. might have a great personality. Right. Honestly, though, no. If she has, if she has those pants, she has a smoker personality. Wow. Judgmental. Yep. I am very. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> um. I'm trying to think of one I could even do. We can come back. Yeah, we'll come back to it. Um, so you're about CERN? Yeah, do you hear about Chick-fil-A? Yeah, dude, that's the new thing. That's the new like Mandela effect everybody's experiencing. Yeah. What do you think it used to be? With a C. Yeah, it's Just a, a C. C. Yeah. Not a CK. And people are actually seeing like the K is now added? Yeah. I haven't, I haven't even went by the restaurant yet. I'm actually going to try. I'll probably just, just. I passed by one on the way to school, and I just never really pay attention. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start I'm gonna start looking around. There's another one I saw it's, too. Someone was talking it's about. It's so weird that like. If we did go into an alter, like why why these like subtle little changes? Why not like big like, crazy changes? Maybe it's just like maybe it's just enough power to kind of subtly take us into a new dimension that is a, like it works, but it doesn't. I don't know. Right, like every Libra has wings all of a sudden. <laughs> that'd be so. That'd be terrible, wouldn't it? Yeah. It never yeah, would. that would be insane. And Sagittarius's <laughs> had horse bodies. That'd be pretty. That'd be. I'd be. I feel like that'd be very inconvenient, actually. Well, yeah, it would suck. That's what you're saying, right? You wouldn't want to have wings? I would love to have wings. Are you serious? <laughs> you just lied to the podcast. You were just like, that would be terrible. Yeah. Well, I was trying to see what you were going to say about it. Yeah, it would be fucking ugly. I wouldn't be your friend. Why? Then I could just literally fly it out there to you. Dun, dun. I'm just kidding. Dun, dun. Yeah, if you make the trip, would you, though? Would you be like, ah, oh, you know, like, turbulence? Bro, if I could fly? Dude, that'd be a rush. Are you serious? Do you not know who I am? Bro, well, you, I mean, it's just like it's like having a car, you know. If you're if you don't have a car for a while, it's like you love something when you don't have it, but when you get it, you don't appreciate it, and then when you lose it, you 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 need it, you know. So it's kind of like a car. It's like, oh, I have the means to get to you. Very, it, it's a very efficient way of getting to you. It sure it would take time to get to me, but it would be a lot better than walking. Right. I mean, I'm sure I would probably get tired, especially if I've never used them before. Yeah. I'd probably have to train <laughs> up to it and take it. Yeah. But can you imagine, like, it's like you just, like, out in your... Do you have a balcony? I do have a balcony. Yeah, you, dude, would, dude. you would know if you uh, came out and saw... I come out there visit. just, like, flying, and then I just fland. Like, what's up, dude? Then I have. Would you? 
would you prefer retractable wings or just I having would, them out, showing I them could off? Just fold, if I can fold them, yeah. If I could, like, like if they're, like, bird wings, I could, like, put them to the side. You wouldn't want ones that, like, suck into your back or whatever? No, bro. Are you serious? That'd be so, bro, that'd be so elegant. And what are they going to say to me? Oh, look at the weird bird guy. He can fly and not have to spend money on gas. Oh, we hate him so much. And that's why you're projecting. Leave me alone. I guarantee you the government would kill you in a second. Not if I fly away. <laughs> they got planes. And then, I, Dude, then I'd have a reason to have, like, like, goggle, like anime goggles. You know? I'm always like, dude, it'd be so sweet if I could just, like, rock those. But then I'd have a legitimate <laughs> reason for having a pair. Just be a bird boy? Bird guy. <laughs> bird guy. Like uh, uncle's newest nemesis. Bird guy. Or like Hawks, basically, from uh, My Hero. I don't know. I don't know. Are you serious? I haven't watched them. No, I, I haven't gotten that far. Wow. Well, didn't you read yeah. the didn't you read the manga? <laughs> no, I haven't I haven't read the manga at all for my hero. Oh. Yeah, you My didn't... Hero was like the anime that like everybody got really hyped about and then I was like, Oh, let's try it out and I was like, Oh, it's it's cool, but it's just I don't it never like caught my attention really. It never like wanted me to come back to it. Never wanted you to come back to it. Yeah, it didn't come once when I was watching it. I stay continuously watching it. <laughs> They're children. Not all of them. <laughs> the teacher. There's the one teacher. <laughs> yeah, what what's her name? Uh Mount Oh, that's Miss just a regular Mountain. That's just a hero, but yeah, still down. Yeah, what what's the other teacher that she's they like a make every dominatrix girl. basically? Yeah, they make every girl in that show, like, super provocative. Yeah. A lot of fan service when there doesn't really need to be. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's why. But I'm also the guy who is, I'm I'm fucking hyperventilating over the Chainsaw Man release. Wasn't that all, all that, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, you tell me the plot of it, yeah, yeah. The plot of it, the guy is just wanting to touch boobs, and he has chainsaws for hands. I can see where that'd be very problematic. Oh, well, he can retract them. He can he can be a normal person, but when he wants to, when he wants to be the chainsaw man, he he like it's so funny. He like he has like a little cord coming out of his chest, and to activate it, he has to like pull on it. Like a you know like if you want to start a chainsaw you have to pull the thing back. That's how he turns his thing on. Mm. I think you would like it. Trey's reading it. He he told you about that. Put it in the group chat. Um. Yeah, I saw that he's reading it, but I don't know. I I mean I, I probably... can't read. Yeah, that's that's what it is. I just can't read. Um, and you constantly make fun of me for it, so thank you for that. Um, no, I, I can't read either. I just read. I just watch the pictures. Is that so? Yeah. Well, that's what I need to start doing. But I don't know. Like, the plot just seems kind of. And like, I feel like if I'm watching the anime, they're just gonna. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the the fight seems to be very intense, but it's just, I can just see it having that, like, tacky anime twang to it. It's not, that's not the whole plot. It's a very dumbed down, stupid version of it. Mm. It's like, the main character, his name is Denji, and yeah, that's all he wants. <laughs> that's his whole goal, is to, like, have sex and touch boobs and stuff. And he's working for this, like, organization that hunts down devils or like demons or whatever i forget what they call it mm -hmm. and yeah and so like but there's the side characters that have all, all this personality and stuff that actually have 
moment like they actually have moments where they're like actually being serious and stuff which is better which i mean all the side characters are like better than the main character um maybe dude i don't know dude i would just wait for the uh anime to come out you'll probably be like what the fuck is this i'll check it out if I were to recommend you read anything, though, it would be Demon Slayer. I still need to watch it, so. You need to watch it, but you also need to read it. Well, I'm one of those people, like, I've gotten, the only way I've ever bought comic books is, like, I'm watching the show, and I'm like, wow. I want to know absolutely everything I can. That's how I had, at one point, the Green Lantern Darkest Night series. Like, I had all of them when I was in California. Mm-hmm. I loved them. I would read them all the time. I loved them. So good. Well, yeah. I, well, that's actually what happened to me. I never read manga. I read it in high school, but the first anime to do that to me was Demon Slayer outside of high school. I would definitely be getting to Demon Slayer, I feel like. From what I saw of it, like, I was like, it's probably the end of. I might have actually made it to season two, bro. Of Demon Slayer. And that's what I think Mugen about Mugen Train? Um, Was there a train at you all? You don't need to just talk to me like that. I'm, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I remember the spider lady. Spider person. Spider lady? There was that, a spider kid. Spider kid. R- Ryu? Yeah. Do you remember them? Uh, do you remember what happens after that fight? It's been a minute. Do you remember them going to the, like, Hashira mansion at oh, all? Oh, yeah. D- yeah. Yeah. And they were, like, training and stuff, like, healing and all that? Oh, I'm thinking of a different mansion, I think. Uh, was it, like, a big demon that was in charge of, like, this big building? No, mm-hmm. that, yeah, that was before the spider thing. Okay. Um, so you might have gotten to like the last fight, but you didn't see what happened after the last fight. You're basically at the end of season one. Mm. Season two is Mugen Train. Season three is the Entertainment District, which is fire. That that fucking whole thing was crazy. The Mugen Train's all right. That's what was the movie, the Demon Slayer movie that uh, is the highest grossing anime movie mm. to date. And uh, it was good, but I like the entertainment arc better. I got you, bro. I will, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna definitely check into it. I would rewatch it because it's it's so good. Dirty. So good to rewatch too. So dirty. So dirty, dog. And, um. Yeah, dude. Have you watched Fate? So uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I, I have not. not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, we uh, started watching an Amazon mo- show, you Yellow Jacket. This? Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, you're probably gonna be like, oh, "You got Amazon, but you're not watching The Boys." I have said this: The Boys is so good, bro. So good. So I and- guess I did have Amazon, but yeah. And you did put me onto Atlanta. I've already watched all of it. I finished it. Yeah, um, he already finished season three, and I haven't even watched season three yet. <laughs> it's so good, dude. It was good. It's was so season three good. good? Yeah, dude. Okay. I love that show. I remember, like, season two was kind of, like, lackluster. Mm. Season one was good. Season two was all right. Um, but, yeah. You I'll, can watch I'm, Invincible I'm watch now, too. I can watch Invincible. Dude. I can also watch The Boys, but I don't know. I don't have time to, like, watch shows, honestly. Except for Yellow Jackets. What's Yellow Jackets about? It's, um, <laughs> you're going to be mad. Shiloh wanted to watch it, but it's about, like, these soccer players, these this female soccer team at the school mm. who are doing really, really good. They are going to nationals, so they have to – get on this plane to go to nationals the plane crashes Mm. a bunch of them die but the main characters that we were already introduced to in the beginning they all lived miraculously (laughs) 
Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, it's, it's basically just them trying to survive, like out in the wild. And you you realize there's a bunch of fucked up other stuff. They kind of like, I guess there's like cannibalism and all this shit because they were like kind of hinting to it in the first episode, but. Um, and it flashes back from the past to the present. It happened in the uh, 90s, and, like, they're flashing back to, like, current day, 2021, and seeing, like, their lives, how their lives were affected by it and stuff. Mm. It's pretty cool. It's actually, it's actually, it's got a pretty good, it's pretty good so far. We're only at, like, episode three right now, so. Okay. So, like, a sur- survival show? Basically. With kids? They're, like, seniors, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, kids, but, like, adults at the same time, because it flashes right. to the present. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> it is, but, um, yeah, so, how's the boys? <laughs> Amazing. Have you finished it? Are they, like, yeah. releasing episodes, like, weekly or something? They were. But that's it's over now. Oh, is it season yeah. finale? Yeah, season four is already. They got a green light for season four, which is, it's insane. That show is, insane. And I can't get it too much into it because you haven't seen any of it. And I've seen because they fucking post about it on TikTok all the time and stuff. So like I I I don't know any of the story honestly, but. I see, like, bits and pieces of it, and I'm just like, oh, it's, like, superhero bad. Well, it's superhero, and, like, that's what I don't get. It's, like, literally everything that you talk about is, like, essentially if superheroes, you know, were in a part of our, like, modern society with capitalism, and all they care about is their brand, and they're willing to do anything to keep their name good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's amazing. Isn't like the main one like Homelander? That doesn't yeah. he like kill a bunch of people? Yeah, that's that's from, that's the part of it. That's yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yo. <laughs> I get I get this plot. I'm starting to really understand it. It's great. <laughs> and like all these other characters, where it's like they've been done wrong by superheroes and they're like you know what we're just regular dudes but we're gonna start trying to take down superheroes so they've like how's that working out for them um pretty good okay that's good pretty good homelander's the one it's like just a he's a jerk the d-bag straight up d-bag dude isn't there like a rape scene and stuff like um there's a uh yeah okay <laughs> there's a uh yeah well i don't i don't remember if it was rape exactly there was definitely like um he tried like it was just like he would there was a character that came in with his pants down and they like didn't get to the what, what's that called like sexual assault yeah like you know what I'm saying? Like he where he's coming in and he's like, Hey, just like, you know, you're the new person here, you should suck my like suck my dick. Essentially. And then like they're like, uh, no, ew. Did he like force her to do it? I don't think so. It was just like him being It's like weird. sexual it was, harassment, that, that, sexual. That was like the first assault. season, so I don't even fully remember. You gonna rewatch it? Wow. No, dude. <laughs> no, dude. I got so many other shows. Like I just, like I said, I just finished Atlanta, bro. Don't know what to do with my life now. Uh, how long did it take you to finish it? Like two days? <laughs> A week. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can watch Demon Slayer. That's true. I'm. Gonna, I actually started uh, season five of My Hero, and I'm going to finish that, and then I'll move on to Demon Slayer. <sighs> Who's your like favorite character from My Hero? Ooh, uh, that's a tough one. Cause I like Miria a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, he's just he's just very OP. But at the same time, I like Hiroshima. 
Red Riot. Yeah, yeah. He's sick. There's so many good characters. Though. Like, Bakugo also sick. Like, I don't know. What about you from what you've seen? Oh, you haven't what, even made it to Miria, have you? Toriyoki. Todoroki? Todoroki. Yeah, with the fire hand and the ice hand. Yeah, yeah. He's dope. He's very dope. He seemed like he was going to be very OP, but I think they're, like, writing him out of the story now or something. Uh, from what I've seen, he's still very OP. <laughs> okay. <laughs> from what okay. I've seen with just, like, the first couple episodes of Season 5, he's still very OP. Gotcha. Um, Is Deku still, like, good? or? Oh, dude, yeah. And he's just getting even more powerful. I know the manga. This is, do you want to hear some spoilers or Where something? Where he he turns like dark Deku. Yeah, he's like a bad guy, but not a bad guy. Anti-hero. Anti-hero. That's right. That looks sick, but I guess that's what uh, like started the downfall of the My Hero Academia manga in Japan. Mm-hmm. Like the the manga is not getting good ratings right now. Because they're like focused, they were focusing more on the villain aspect, the anti-hero aspect of everything. But Japan likes the heroes, and they want more well, story with the makes, heroes. That just makes more like that's like all Deku's ever wanted to be is like the perfect hero. So like I can see yeah. where people are getting pissed because like mm-hmm. why you can't just change someone's entire identity based on certain situations, you know? Because like. I don't know, what yeah. makes a good hero is having these trying times and still being like, I want to do the right thing, I want to save people. You know, not being like, I'm going to become... That's why Red Hood is a side character. He's a sweet, si- mm-hmm. he's a sick character in DC Comics. But, like, that's why he's a side character. He wouldn't be able to hold it down like Batman because Batman's number rule, number one rule, and it constantly finds conflictions within it, is that he doesn't kill. Yeah. You know? He wants to be a hero at the end of the day. He's got that restraint on his own, like, heart and mind. Meanwhile, Red Hood's like, I'm going to just murk everybody because they're bad. You know? So I can see where they get pissed. Because I would be yeah. too. <laughs> but you're liking it so far. Oh, yeah. Not, I mean, the, I, not the manga, but the anime. Oh, yeah. Season 5? It's, it's very nice. Deck is too, That's like, a hero and little crybaby. Um... Little we'll cry, baby. You want to go cry? Um, I think uh, the fandom also kind of killed it too. There was like a bunch of people trying to like make Deku and Bakugo like like each other. Mm. There was mm-hmm. like fan art of them like having kids and stuff, and I was like, what? What? I for once would like to see the gravity. She like has like such. I forgot what her name is, but she like loves that dude. Deku? Yeah. Yeah. She loves Deku. I mean, but at the same time, like, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I like a good relationship in anime. Mm. Like Ken, or Ken, Ken Kaneki and uh, <laughs> Toka from Tokyo Ghoul. Mm. That was, that was very well done, I think. Yeah, or Meliodas and, uh, Princess Elizabeth. Are you trying to tell me Seven Deadly Sins has a good story? I haven't seen the new season. Did they take it down? I I heard it's really bad. That it's first really bad. That first season was so good. I thought it was. I I haven't gotten through it. I No, yeah, I haven't gotten through it. <laughs> I thought it was I just like the night aspect. I feel like it's yeah. not it touched as much. It's always, you know, powers and, like, that kind of... But, mm. like, I just like that medieval flip to it. Did you ever, did you ever watch a Overlord? Yes, I did. I finished it. Yeah, it's... It's, like, it's... It's really good, but to me, mm-hmm. it had... And I'm probably going to get some smoke for this because Overlord's very renowned. Um... It felt kind of like fairy tale in the sense <laughs> of like it was getting it get it would get kind of predictable in like the later seasons. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh okay. I think there's a new but, season out for Overlord. 
Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. I want to check that out then. I'll give it another go. I also really liked... Uh, I want to... They dropped season two for Shield Hero, but I'm trying to still finish season... I've seen the first three episodes of Shield Hero, and I want to watch it so bad. Mm -hmm. And they dropped season two, and I I heard that season two was out. I got pumped because I thought they dropped Shield Hero on Hulu in general. And, like, I've seen the, the dub yeah. version, and I'm a fake fan because I like dubs. Um, but I was like, dude, I would literally watch this if it was subbed because, like, I just like the plot of what I yeah. saw. And then I see they only have season, specifically only season two. Who does this? Why? And then, that is stupid. And then it's subbed. And I'm like, well, now I'm sad. Why'd you do now this? Now I'm to sad. Me? Get Crunchyroll. I don't, I got enough subscriptions, my guy. Uh, get rid of one. I can't. Why not? Because they should be dropping Invincible sometime. Do you have Netflix? No. Do you have Hulu? Yes. You have Amazon. Yes. HBO. Do you p Disney Plus? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. You got you got a bunch of them. Never mind. HBO, superior, in my opinion. Yeah. That like, they even had Donnie Dark. Like we already had that conversation. But uh, like, we we did. Yes, we did. Like you usually can't find that really. And you say it was on Netflix. I don't think it was. It was on Netflix. They took it <laughs> off like a while ago. Promise. But, that's that's where I watched it. And it's like also you know me in DC Comics. It's like the DC movie hub, which I'm like yes, dude, big down. Mm -hmm. And then I got Disney Plus because I still like Marvel, and Star Wars is probably one of my favorite like non comic franchises. You know, yeah. non non anime franchises like not you know. Um, mm -hmm. So I keep it for the Star Wars too because I love Star Wars. Um, but yeah. I I think that's the only thing that like I was watching a video where it was like they were rating the the streaming services and stuff, and Disney Plus didn't get a good rating because they only have like two two things that drive people back, and they don't come out with enough like original content mm -hmm. to keep people interested and or like good original content i guess like kenobi was like don't the big dare. ones oh, okay. right now i was gonna say don't you dare but it's, it's uh so like after that like what what else did ah they put out ahsoka ahsoka's gonna oh, come out mandalorian season three or four. yeah but but it's if you it's only if you like star, star wars, wars stuff. yeah i got you maybe maybe if you like they'll probably put out a couple like uh marvel things but you if you only like those two like franchises it's not like a good setup for you you know yeah. they still haven't dropped the latest spider-man i know that's so well it's like sony sony's probably fucking holding on to that so much oh my like, it's like, uh, oh, they, we got, are not going to live. They already got the multiverse of madness. Like, you don't, you guys don't think we're paying attention? We're paying yeah. attention. Like, multiverse of madness came out like two months after Spider-Man. Well, I, I just don't think they can because it's like Sony owns the rights to Spider-Man, not Disney. And Sony's probably just trying to like... Well, isn't it a collaboration? Because it I thought it was mostly Venom that's still owned by Sony. But no, Spider Man still because remember, remember like a couple years ago, like Sony was threatening to like not sign a deal with Marvel to keep Spider Man going, mm. and they were thinking about recasting Spider Man again. Tom Holland wouldn't have been Spider Man. Oh, that would be the multiverse of madness for sure. That would have been shit. I would have literally cried my. I mean, it's not like Spider Man is like. Eh. Take it back. <laughs> take it back. Uh, take it back. No, it's like a, a hill I'm going to die on. Um, it's Spider-Man is such a good, unique he's superhero. so played out, bro. He's got... Not really, though. He's got spider powers. Okay, oh, and that's like a unique ability. He, sh he should have... Okay, if he had powers of an arachnid, he would have frail exterior. 
Yeah, but no, spiders can lift the like twice their. That's uh, ants. I think spiders can also do it too. I think they made that shit up. That's what I'm thinking. So that he wouldn't be just useless, just be able to shoot webs and be frail. Well, he's he's <laughs> not like a spider though. He has the abilities of a spider. He can climb walls and shoot webs, and he has like a sixth sense, you know. Also, what spider does and that? And super super strength. <laughs> They have a bunch they of have, eyes. They have, yeah, they have a bunch, a bunch of, of eyes, eyes, but you're not gonna, you're not gonna make a man have like, a, you know, eight eyes, you know. Um, they do, they do play on that. Like Madame Web, doesn't she have? Doesn't she have like the lower half of a spider or some shit? Yeah. Like they, they do play on like, okay, what if actually he did get more qualities of a spider? Let's make it into a villain. Moon Knight's better. Moon Knight spider? Moon Knight. Well, Arachnite is like a... You ever heard of Arachnite? No. I don't know what it's you're like, saying to me. It's where, like, where Marvel took like different characters and pretty much like blended them together. So he was like... So like Spider-Man and Moon Knight? Yeah, dude. Oh, that's sick. Dude, and he looks amazing too. Way cooler. Would rather have you see- him be... Do you see a bunch of people cosplaying as Moon Knight? Sorry to get away from the conversation. Um, yeah. Have you seen people like cosplay as Moon Knight? Yeah. Have you seen bad cosplays of Moon Knight? I'm fact checking this right now. There are a a bunch of people who at the at the height of Moon Knight, you know, hype. Mm-hmm. It was people were making these half-assed cosplays of moon knight and, and they were basically it. just they were basically just looking like clan members yeah it was not good it was not great okay well if they they have see they keep going with like the what the show had which is plain white but yeah. like in the comics he's got some black in there too like white with black you know i like what they did with his costume oh yeah the gold is sick yeah. But if you get the gold in it, you can't just have a white bed sheet over top of you and just say, I'm Moon Knight. Nope. Because, nope, you're not. You, you, you are racist. Not in America. But well, yeah. Moon Knight's just way cooler, though. <laughs> why Why did the clan... Or we're, we're going completely off top. <laughs> huh? What are you say? <laughs> like... Why Why the white cloaks? Because they're broke. And they're like... Broke? Yeah. They did well, that. they had the point still, you know. They they still made the point and everything. Mm, I don't know. Because they were just weird? I feel like there was... I, fe- I feel like... Because they called themselves like the Grand Wizards and stuff, you know? Like... Mm. Do you think they were trying to, like, imitate, like, a wizard, or... No. Well, I think it, like, goes in ties with, like, their religious practices. You know how much of a twist that would be if, like, they, they practiced, like, a form of witchcraft? Well, they were... A lot of them were Christian. Yeah. Do you think Jesus was? Don't tell him Jesus was a brown man. He was. I said, don't tell them. Well, I just don't understand like how they would see it otherwise. That's what I always like. I always like when I would go to church. I I stopped going to church when I was like six, and even I had that thought. I was like, oh, he's from the Middle East. Why is why is every picture I see of him here Obi Wan of a <laughs> of a white man? Yeah, <laughs> like he was. He should be like darker tone man at least you know like mm. add a little splash of flavor because they wanted to create a form of like um, what's the word narrative white supremacy mm-hmm. so they and can justify so, their hatred yeah yeah it's just so backwards to me it all is sorry 
Well, sorry, that's... sorry to get off the topic, but no, you're back fine. to back to Marvel. You're totally fine. Um, I, well, I mean, they. I mean, I can see why why this hype was right in. Gano just sent me a picture. Yeah, that is sick. Oh, uh, it was a uh, yeah. Is that, that is what you looked like in the comic, or? I mean, there's so many different variations of this dude. He's been around for so long. It was just so weird that they randomly did it. Oscar Isaacs put that together, bro. He's such a good actor. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna let like all these uh, characters that are getting like shows? Do you think they're only gonna limit them to shows, or do you think they're gonna make a movie like a Moon Knight movie? Well, within the Secret Wars, um, so, the, like, in the comics with the Secret Wars, you know, that's where, like, Doctor Doom comes into play, um, mm-hmm. and, but the real one that I feel like is going to bring all these different, um, characters together is, uh, Kang the Conqueror, because he has, like, multiple, he conquers multiple universes, um, so I think that will be what brings all these different characters into the same area. So do you th- did you watch in t- uh, Eternals? No. Yeah. I started a lot of it. People don't like it. It's. Uh, it's just. I don't know, dude. I I thought it was gonna be good. Yeah. Uh, I haven't watched it yet, but people are saying like, yeah, it's like, try to like it, but it's just not that. It's I started not it. it, and it was just like, they could have made so many other, like bring Blade. Bring bring Blade in here. Yeah. You know, bring Blade. We want Blade. <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, didn't they announce his thing? Like, back when Phase 4 was announced? Yes. Um. Like, Wesley Snipes, like, handpicked this actor who pretty much looks just like him. And it'd be actually amazing. Yeah. Um, and then they hinted him. I forgot which show it was. What I was watching. I think. I think it was like the after Morbius credits, right? Um, <laughs> Wait, you watch Morbius? Oh yeah, I see Morbius. Um, <laughs> my sister got us tickets, and I was just like, you know, I'll go, I'll check it out. Um, you know, I thought it would be better than what <laughs> my little hope in it, Loki. Um, and uh, yeah, it's bad. It's very bad. Um, but at the end of it, I think that's when they showed his like Blaze Katana. Because oh. somebody comes in and was, like, talking and was like, are you ready for your next task? And then, like, there's a katana sitting there. And I'm like, oh, this, like, besides Deadpool, there's only one other guy I know that uses a katana. And that's... Do you think blade. they might link Deadpool, though? Because didn't they say Deadpool was going to start entering the MCU soon? Well, they're saying that Deadpool's going to be, like, the new... Uh, I've heard people say that Deadpool's supposed to be, like, the new... Um, Who's a Marvel guy? R.I.P. Stan Lee. Stan Lee. He's supposed to be making cameos like Stan Lee did throughout the universe. Oh, yeah, I heard that. But, um... I could, they could tie it to Deadpool, but... It was after Morbius, and Blaze notoriously a vampire hunter. He's a day do you walker. Think they're gonna do, do you think they're going to do another Morbius movie? No. Because they kind of... I feel like whenever they... Yeah, I don't think so either. Absolutely. But I feel like every time they introduce a new character and they do like this after credit scene, they have to kind of keep it going, right? Not always. Wolverine... Um, at the end of the Wolverine movie, uh, she hands them a, like a suitcase and it's got his yellow... Wolverine costume, and you never see it ever again. Like oh, yeah. It, yeah, but I f- I feel like amazing. I feel like the MCU though. I feel like the MCU universe. It it's it's so big now, and it's it's got so much tied to it that an after like a post credit scene means a lot, and I feel like what I mean like what when's a movie during this MCU era? that hasn't gotten their true post credit scene fulfilled. Like, Wolverine. Thor? Thor, the Dark World? Was that MCU? Yeah. 
Like the the new rebranded MCU. Yeah, that was yeah that was canon. Those movies are canon. I thought so. Like, oh yeah, doesn't like ex- doesn't like Xavier, Xavier, Professor X, whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah, Professor X. Doesn't he show up in Multiverse of Madness? I haven't watched it yet. Yes. And so does uh, Fantastic, Mister Fantastic. Yeah. Played as uh, John Krasinski. Krasinski. Yeah. Cru- crushed it. Love seeing the dude. That was sick. That's um, gonna be. I think he is gonna be really good. Yes. Isn't uh, Jessica Biel uh, Miss Fantastic? I think so. I think I saw. And that. aren't they like married in real life? Yes. Right. I- IRL. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be so cool. And That's then, gonna be cool. I wonder who's gonna play uh, Human Torch. Me. Um, I saw the thing, dude. Okay, picture this, right? So, Doctor Doom being played by uh, you, the, the guy that plays. Well, I mean, I would crush it. But uh, Breaking Bad. I saw rumors. Mr. White. Yeah, the guy that plays Mr. White playing Doctor Doom. I saw something where uh, Killian Murphy. Yeah, I did see that as well. Could play Doctor Doom. But like, I just when I hear Doctor Doom's voice in my mind, it's like dark, ominous, you know. Because like we've seen, I love Killian Murphy to death, you know. Don't get me wrong. But like when he does an English act, like a, an American accent, it's kind of like it's not good. Well, he he plays Scarecrow in Batman. Yeah, yeah. It just kind of sounds flat. It's it's not that's like menacing, insane. deep. When he does his English accent though, and he means it, that that's kind of scary. But but then I think of Breaking Bad, like when he's like you know doing his like wearing the hat alter ego, and he's like this mm-hmm. crazy dude. I'm like, and he does that like raspy, mean kind of voice. Do you think he's too old now though? Um. Probably. I think he's like yeah. I. I think I seen a picture of him like recently, and he looks old. Like, yeah, he, mm, years I mean, have not been kind. Well, he is old though. Is he like? Well, yeah, 60s? I know, but yeah, but I mean, that's not that bad. But it's yeah, it's still kind of bad. Um. Uh, I was. I just hope they do, do some justice for uh, Doctor Doom, dude. You know me, bro. Come on, man. Yeah. Pull it together. Let's get good Doctor Doom. Um, but I do think Killian Murphy... Well, who knows, dude? He's a great actor. I mean, he was playing Scarecrow, which Scarecrow is not, like, the most, like, you know, dark character. Like, he does, he's got his gas, you know, but, like... Yeah. Whenever Batman figures out how to counter the gas, he's kind of a little girl. Like, he's kind of... Not like a little girl, but he's kind of a pussy. <laughs> you know? I, yeah, I never understood how like Scarecrow could really be like a menacing big villain. It's only when he's got his gas, his fear gas. That's the only time. Yeah. So like, how does Batman still like struggle with him in the comics? Getting hit with fear gas without him knowing. <laughs> yeah. I saw a car- like an animated movie where uh, Scarecrow was in it, very briefly because he did a fear gas like injection. Batman didn't see it coming. Hit him with it. Because he, yeah. he pulled out like, his mask, you know, like because Batman, you know, after he fights somebody, he's then prepared. You know, because that's like his thing. Yeah. Pulls out his gas mask. Next thing you know, he gets like injected with a fear toxin. And then, yeah, got him for a second. And, you know. So how do you beat him? Huh? He ra- well, it's that's the fine. thing. Uh, he ran off. Scarecrow did, but then, but then once Batman was Batman was prepared next time, so when he pulled it out again, he just did. It. He you know he's got like the those like wrist guard things that got like the spikes on them. Batman, yeah, I don't even know what you call those. Like his gauntlets, I guess. Deflected yeah. it like as soon as he saw it pull out, just instantly deflected it. Scarecrow then was like, oh, oh, oh. and then Batman ran up and started beating him up. Batman's just gotta start killing these people. No, that's his. We just talked about I this know, chase. That's what makes I know him so it's great. His, 
I know it's his thing, but I mean, so many people keep dying. Well, yeah, but you saw what happened when literally Lois Lane was killed. Superman destroys a planet, pretty much. And that's what makes him Batman better than all of them. But I feel like Batman doesn't have the means to destroy a planet for one. Two. Are you, what? Two. Oh, bro. Why is he only in Gotham? Bro, because that's where he that's what he loves. At the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, but if he, if he can't solve crime in Gotham, but that's why he has the Justice League also to, to solve world problems. Okay. <laughs> okay. But he he doesn't have the means to destroy the earth. He does. Or he does have the means. He does. Okay, there's a I forgot what the movie is called. Um it's Justice League something where there's like the like opposite version pretty much of like all the the DC heroes but it like in this reality it's flipped so that all of them are villains right mhm and like that's where you you might have seen clips where it's like one of batman's like hardest lines where he's like i looked into the we both looked into the abyss but the difference was you blinked it's like one of his like most like notable like quotes um i've ne- i've never heard that before in my life well okay and then, but the the opposite version of Batman, right? So he was playing along like he was about to destroy, like he had a bomb that was going to destroy cities, right? No. Mm-hmm. This man was going to the original planet reality to destroy reality itself for all existences and all the multiverses. That's what the ultimate, that's what the opposite Batman was going to do. Because huh. if you have Batman, who his big vow is to never kill... Right, and he sees that there's hope and justice. The opposite would be there's no hope for any of us. So if Batman I... did go, if Batman did go off the rails, he has unlimited means because this this guy was, he this was Owl Man, in the other in the opposite universe, and he was mm-hmm. literally a psychopathic murderer. Because yeah, you have Batman, unlimited means. Always has a contingency plan for every single thing. Also watch Justice League Doom. Batman literally has a plan to take out Jire Justice League if he wants to. He has a different plan to take out everyone in the Justice League. The movie plot is the... There has like a league of villains going on. They take his plans and they start taking off each of the Justice League one by one. Right? With Batman's plans. I'm telling you, people be sleeping on Batman. They're like, oh, he's just a human. No. Well, I know, I he's know he's got morality at the forefront of everything he does, dude. I know he's good, but like he's a Spider-Man, right? Don't you in the last movie? But don't you think like he understands like he can kill these people, and like honestly, the world would be a better place. And he just he can keep his morality. No one deserves to die just, though, in his eyes. Justice would be served with them trying to ha- find rehabilitation. The Joker is kind of bad. There's some yeah. messed up people. He even killed Robin. Joker even killed Robin, and Batman still vowed to not kill Joker. And that's how the Red Hood was born. I wonder, why doesn't Batman just keep them locked up in his cage? Like, a cage in his, like, little bat cave. Because he's still a vigilante at the end of the day. And he has to obey by the rules, and he doesn't want to backstab Jim Gordon, which is, like, pretty much the only person that fully trusts him. (laughs) Okay. I forgot I'm talking to, like, a Batman, like, nerd. I'm telling... Because he's so cool. I mean, you can get me back. Like, you like Spider-Man? I like Batman. That's a basic character. I mean, if you look at it... Yeah. It, yeah, he is. I love Batman, though. He's sick. He doesn't have the power of the bats, though. There's also another Justice League movie where there's another reality where he's actually a vampire. Oh, that'd be sick. It's actually pretty nice. Um, Makes sense, actually. Yeah, where he... um, He has, I think, like, Lyme's disease or something. And he was, like, trying to see... Essentially, like, Morbius, the the whole plot of Morbius before Morbius, essentially. 
and he's like trying this thing, this certain thing out with bats, because he wanted to try to heal himself, and he rushed the experiment, and then this version of Batman literally turned into a vampire. It's pretty and, cool though. And instead of uh, Superman's dad being like Kal-el, well, it's a I forgot what or Jarrell, I think is uh, Superman's dad's name. It was uh, General Zod. Yeah. Yeah. And th- these guys were like a branched off. They weren't like the regular Justice League. They were like a branched off like extension of the military. So like the first scene, they're like just American people. Yeah. Yeah, Vampire Batman. Very tight. So he does be American people. That's This is a different universe. I'm talking about Batman, bro. I'm talking about Bruce Wayne so- Batman. When when does Batman stop becoming Batman? When he retires. <laughs> so I mean, if a Batman in another universe kills someone, are they con- still considered Batman? No, they're not. The one the one that was murking the psychopathic murderer one, Owl Man, was even Batman. He was Owl Man. There's got to be one where it's like Batman does go off the deep end. There's and one killing people. Okay, in Batman Beyond, the beginning of it, right? You have old Bruce Wayne Batman, right? He's trying to still do the thing so he can keep the city safe, and he pulls a gun once, realizes like, oh, dude, I, what am I doing? Throws a gun to the side, and was that's when uh, I forgot what Batman Beyond's like his name is, like his like secret identity, but that's when yeah. he was put into place. Because he was like, well, I, I literally almost killed somebody, which is not what I do. Like, there's so many different scenarios where, like, like Joker killed Robin. Like, there's just so many different scenarios where Batman has been tried over and over again so people, so that he would legitimately break his rule, and he doesn't. And, like, Catwoman, there's a different movie where <laughs> Catwoman is like, brute, like... Bruce, what is wrong with you? Like, some I forgot who died in it, but, like, they're like, what is wrong with you? And he's like, I don't kill. That's all he says. He's like, I don't kill. Like, it doesn't matter what happens. Like, I don't kill. It's amazing. It is amazing. So, how are you feeling? <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm hungry. <laughs> I am hungry, too. I got leftover pizza. It's just going to slap. I got some chicken. You got chicken? I got some chicken. Oh, chicken fillet? No, nah, it's regular chicken. Yeah, my mom, yeah. I'll put you on if you go to uh, Trader Joe's. There's these like pre-seasoned, you like pre-marinated you told chickens. Me you told me about this. I think you actually told me about this in an episode. Pollo asado. Ah, I oh, see so you speak. They come Egyptian. with like they. <laughs> I'm speaking hieroglyphics, <laughs> but they come with like three or four, like breast, mm. and yeah, mm. breastesses, and uh, it's pretty cheap. I think it's only like ten bucks for four breasts. Yeah, I would check that out for sure. And it's good. It's really good. It only takes like five minutes to cook, or ten minutes to cook on a skillet. I got you, bro. Skillet? Yeah, I'll check them out. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, they're, they are good. And we're sponsored by Trader Joe's. We are sponsored by uh, Heinz Ketchup and... Heinz. Heinz? Yeah. Have you been saying Heinz this entire time? I have been saying Haynes. I was today years old. <laughs> well, I don't say it a lot, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not in my everyday vocabulary, <laughs> but. I thought you were going to say Haynes underwear for a second. That's what confused me. No. Why the fuck would, would they ever sponsor us? Because, bro. Why not? Do you wear Haynes? Um, yeah, dude. The sports version. I'm not going to spend... Okay. You, you haven't heard the, the natural st- stereotype for most guys? That we have, like, 
like our set underwear, and we pretty much just get the same kind. I've I've went out in the deep end. And I got some uh, Calvin Klein's before. You know, they don't feel great. Calvin Klein. I like Calvin Klein. I don't like Calvin Klein. I like them. Maybe I got a bad pair. I got like a kind that weren't real underwear. Honestly, I was like, this isn't right. Oh, I loved my Calvin Klein's. But like, I I started be... wearing oh, pair of thieves. I've never even heard of those. Is that Target? I think it's a Target brand. It's really good though. Yeah. Hmm. I get the socks and everything. I, and like, I, I know it sounds kind of weird, but I only usually get like, like I'll get Calvin Klein's like if I'm in a relationship with someone. <laughs> Is that weird? You know? Yeah, you gotta look. You gotta. I you fancy. Gotta look good. You know. Yeah. It's like lingerie, but like men's. Like, I want to be fancy. It's like oh. I have a goofy pair of underwear. That I know if I wear it, I'm not gonna want to have sex with them. <laughs> I'm like, oh. there's will be no sex tonight if I'm wearing this. It's a chastity belt. Underwear. It basically is. I should probably throw it out and just get more of my good pair. They're not even comfy anymore. I've had them for a couple of years. I mean, just you know, good goodwill them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> if you buy underwear, I, I mean, I'm not gonna judge. Actually, if so you if you're buying, if you if you're buying underwear, underwear can, if you send your underwear yeah. to Goodwill, you're terrible. It's the only way. I I wonder if they just throw it away. To be honest, you never know, man. Because I, I don't think I've seen underwear at Goodwill. Times be tough, man. Well, yeah. If you're buying underwear at Goodwill and that's your only option. More power to you, but if you have a choice, <laughs> I would refrain from doing that. Just get an unopened package, brother. Get a open package, brother. Get the used ones you can, bro. Do you remember when people, there was a trend where people would lick ice cream at a store and put it back? No, who does this? You don't remember that? No. It's like... There was a trend. It's like the same people that, like... Oh, my... Bro, when they're, like, they're doing, like, quote-unquote prank videos, and they'll get, like, a couple things of milk and act like they slip, and then just smash the milk all... Like, why are you... It was the same vibe. Yeah, it was the same vibe. Like, why are you doing this? You're just being weird. This isn't funny. Someone's gotta clean that up, and I know your punk ass is not gonna clean this up. Yeah. And then beyond that, like, milk's already not cheap, bro. What are you doing? Yeah. They probably fucking abuse those cows, too, to get that milk. Right. That's what makes it taste so good. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I can taste a little blood in there. Mm. <laughs> Tastes like torture. Oh, my God, dude. I remember I watched this YouTube video. Sorry, we were going to end this, but there. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me put you on to this. There was this, like, Swedish guy that I used to watch a bunch of YouTube videos of. He was sweet to you? And he, he was sweet-ish. Oh, he's sweet. Oh, so he was kind of sweet to you? Yeah, a little sweet. <laughs> but I guess what they do in Sweden, it's like a, it's a like popular thing to do there. They get like a blood from an animal. I don't know what animal it was. It might have been a moose blood. They get moose blood. Good band. And pancake and pancake mix. And they make pancakes with the moose blood. That's and they just, it's like blood pancakes. So, why? Por qué? I, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Like, I, can... I was just watching, I was just watching it and I was just like, oh, why? Like, I know like. You know, and like old, um, like from what I've heard of like old indigenous and like Native American traditions, like they would kill something and then that like, I think it was like their first time they killed something. They look at all life as sacred, but like they would take like a, they like you know they'd slit the animal's throat, and then mm -hmm. they would get a cup of it, the blood, and then it was like uh, that kind of vibe. But putting it in your pancakes, why? Why is this the thing? I, I think it's like a traditional thing in Sweden or something. That's so weird, bro. 
And this is why they get free yeah. health care. We got to start amping Boy. it up, guys. <laughs> They're like, why are all of these people getting AIDS? <laughs> moose blood. Brought to you by Moose Blood. Well, I wonder if it is safe, because obviously I feel like people wouldn't be doing it if they like got diseases from it. That's true. But, all right, man. How you feeling? I'm hungry. Now yeah, it's I'm, starting to hit me. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm ready, dude. <laughs> but, uh, you can find us on all streaming platforms. Um, pot, uh, Spotify, I almost said podcast. Uh, Spotify, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. Um, we also, if you're feeling a little extra spicy, we got the yeah, Patreon going on, guys. We've now lowered it, right, for you guys. If you get, if we get three subscriptions of only $5 a month, only five dollars yeah only five dollars a month my guys i I was honestly (laughs) waiting for the cue and you said it and i didn't hear it (laughs) like it just like went through one ear and out the other it's okay we're a little fatigued um but yeah dude we're if we five dollars a month yeah (laughs) yeah only five dollars a month bro and we're doing it so three subscriptions we still got the pilk and tilk on the table. Or you know what? If you guys got something even spicier you want to see us do, you know. Did you say? Did you say tilk? No, dilk. You said dilk and tilk. Dilk and pilk, bro. What are you talking about? You said tilk, oh, my guy. Man. Well, dude, if you <laughs> you can't even pay attention for the five dollars thing. But you know what, guys? We also got death, our friend. Wait, it's we only five dollars. <laughs> And we have some exclusive content on there. You know, we got Next Caller. We got, uh, um, are you still wanting to do that one series? Next Caller? Yeah. No, but the other one. Like the one with you. Oh, yeah. I'm just, I made the, I made the cover art for it. It's in the process. Okay. I just haven't sat down and done it yet. Yeah. And that's going to come out too. Okay, guys. Um, you know, um, and, uh, you know, uh, I think that's uh, yeah all she wrote, really. That is all she wrote, she told me. Why'd she write it, though? Wait, it's only $5 <laughs> a month? <laughs> okay, okay. That I did, okay, it was too too much. Oh, sorry, guys. No. But anyways, uh, my name was Chase. And I was, am, and will always be Ganon. Peace. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye-bye. Kisses.